Like most of Abnur Tharn's plans, it is both brilliant and daring. If it has any chance to succeed, however, we need a way to get a small force into the palace without being seen. Luckily, I may have an answer. The former custodian of the palace, he knew the place like the back of his paw. Remarkably, he survived Euraxia's conquest and the purge of the royal family. Find him, and he should be able to provide us with an unseen path into the palace. Aneshi. He served as Castellan for Rimin Palace under King Hamakar. You can find Aneshi southeast of here, where he now cares for a shrine to the ancient hero, Kunzari. Learn what he knows. Then, meet the rest of the strike force in Rimen. I decided to join you. Aneshi deserves to hear that I still live in my Welcome to Aneshi's humble shrine, Kunzari. 
Here, we remember the tales of the hero of ancient elsewhere. <laughs> Old Aneshi doesn't get many visitors, friend. Few find much comfort in the ancient tales of Kunzari during these trying times. Wait, and if she recognizes your friend. She is grown now, more serious, but this one knows Princess Kamira by Jold. Aneshi's beloved wife, Zaima, worked with the militia for a time after we avoided Uraxia's purge of the palace. Passed along information until the Uraxians caught her. They killed her in the palace courtyard. If Ineshi can help, he will do so. Then you need to enter the palace crypts. A forgotten passage in the crypts leads to the royal kitchens. Aneshi will write down directions to where he hid his master key. The key opens a door in the sewer under the palace that leads to the crypts. Jode above, old Aneshi can hardly believe his eyes. Princess Camira. It is truly me, Castellan. But I am Queen Camira now. We will throw the usurper from my father's throne. We stayed close to the castle. Zaima, my brave and beloved wife, she passed information to the militia.
Five Claw, over here. Harn wants to speak to you. I may not have figured out Chimera's true identity, but things have been hectic since I met her. Zamorak, though, he was easier to surmise. I recognized the bearing of the King's Claw the moment I saw him. Did you find us a way into the palace? The crypts. So that means another delightful trek through the sewers. The overwhelming stench of excrement still lingers from our last visit. Ah oh well. I have another task for you to deal with first, however. The siege weapons aim down into the city. We need to disable them before Euraxia realizes she's under attack or she'll destroy Rimmon just to spite us. Meet Nalado and destroy two of the installations. Chimera will take care of the third. Just thinking out loud, a habit I acquired during my time in the archives at White Gold Tower. Zamorak once served as a royal protector. From his bearing and the way he hovers near Chimera, he had to be one of the king's claws. It's quite obvious. Captain Nalado's waiting for you near the siege weapons. Work with her to put them out of commission. Once we see the weapons go up in flames, we'll head out and rendezvous with you at the sewer entrance. I'm counting on it. After you and Nalado destroy the first two platforms and Chimera deals with the third, Euraxia will order her troops into the streets to defend the city. That will mean fewer soldiers inside the palace to hamper our assault. Zamorak, Cadwell, and I will make our way to the sewers and deal with any Euraxians stationed there. Can't have them raise an alarm and alert my half-sister to our true intentions. Are you insinuating that my contributions are lacking? Hmm. I thought you might be remarking on how spellcasting seems to leave me drained. Or perhaps you were implying that this was my fault for accidentally releasing the dragons from the halls of Colossus. No matter. Do your job, and I'll do mine. The good captain waits near the palace. She went on ahead to scout the area and determine what opposition you might encounter at the siege weapon platforms. I appreciate that level of planning, especially since it's rare to see among the Khajiit. I'll get to the far bastion. Best we don't travel together. A divine lives among us. Come and give thanks to him. Offer yourself to divine Alkosh and be saved. The Trada shall pray for you. All of you. Five claw, good, good. We have work to do. Are you ready to disable the siege weapons and wreak some more havoc?
The soldier guarding the gate to the South Weapons platform appears bored. This one plans to give her something to get excited about. When she leaves her post, slip through the gate and set fire to the siege weapons. Be quick, Five Claw. At the gate, yes. This one observed a few more soldiers on the platform, but not many. The usurper queen feels secure in Rimin. We're about to change that. After this one deals with the soldier, I will move on to the north platform. Meet me there. Watch as Namado becomes a sleek Eraxian soldier. Oh, how do they see with this thing on? Garashi has been spotted in the market. Hurry! Finally, some action! Nalado will deal with the soldier. Ugh, this one can't wait to get out of this dungy armor. The south platform is under attack! Stupid cats! Wait, I better warn my lieutenant first. Go! Destroy the siege weapons. Nalado will clean up this mess. <laughs>
should be able to watch Queen Carmira destroy the far platform from over here. She did it! Now let's meet the others at the sewer entrance. Here come the others now. A queen should not rush into danger. It is unseemly. This one should be at her side to keep her safe. Nalado will follow orders, though. We must make our way through the crypts and into the palace before Kamira gets into too much trouble, yes? Mira is queen now, so this one must do as she says. There are dangers ahead, regardless of whether we stick together or not. But we have a better chance of reaching the Usurper Queen if we approach from multiple directions. Yes, and if anything happens to our new queen, this one will have Thorn's head on a platter. We waste too much time, Five Claw. Are you ready to enter the sewers and find the door to the crypts? I'll scout ahead! Tally ho! Unsheathe your claws. There is the door to the crypts. Let us see if the master key still works. Nalado will guard the rear. You go ahead and find a way into the palace. This one hasn't visited these crypts in a long, long time.
Wait. This is the royal crypt, but it has been disturbed. They took his body, they desecrated the king's grave, and from the looks of it, the queen's and Kamira's siblings as well. Zamarak has no clue. This royal crypt was prepared when King Hemakar ascended to the throne and married Queen Numara. Why inter the bodies and then dig them up six years later? Dark moons. This one hopes that is not the case. To even think such a thing makes Zamarak's fur stand on end. We should hurry and find Kamira. Find the Queen. We need to find a way into the palace, and quickly. Eraxia not only murdered our king's queen, she desecrated their graves! We can reach the royal chambers through the Chapel of the Guiding Moons and the Great Hall. That's far enough. Your Axia doesn't want to be disturbed. The Chapel of the Guiding Moons is just ahead. It's the Necromancer, Zumag Foom. Queen Euraxia would be delighted in. to hear that we have guests. Oh, look! More cats! I do adore fleeing and then roasting the nasty creatures. If you'll excuse us, we have another member of your party to deal with. <laughs> I'm of two minds. I want to watch your cadavers. Tear these cheeky mud crabs apart, but I also want to deal with my inferior duplicate. What to do? What to do? Leave the door to Zamarak. This one will make an exit. More undead! Zamarak will guard your backs. Go left while this one goes right. We will meet in the royal chambers. Help! They're going to destroy me! Destroy you? No, we're simply correcting the mistake of nature. 
We will transfer your duplicates animus into you. But our time with Queen Euraxia has reached its end. Come along. Please, not like this. Try smashing these glass baubles. Well, that wasn't pleasant. You go on. I'll be along in a snap. There. Make haste. Euraxia is in the palace courtyard with Mulamnir. Be cautious. We need to know what Euraxia and the dragon are planning before we attack. The moon gate you seek lies here. Zumog Thum has the key. Now, about my request. The necromancers have already agreed to serve Calgrontid. You no longer interest us, Euraxia Tharn. How dare you! We had a deal! What's this now? My incompetent half-brother and... Aha. The lost princess returns. Nalado! Here. Your parents have missed you so, princess. Father! Mother! No! I never liked you, Abner. Now do me a favor and just die! I'll take down that sheep. You deal with the undead.
need to see the throne. Once this all began, I knew Euraxia would need to be dealt with. But sending Chimera's murdered parents against us... Death was too easy an end for my half-sister. I'm concerned that the dragons continue to work with the necromancers, though. Half-sister. And do I really seem like the sentimental type to you? Your axiom may...